Let's start with the Alabama thing because I think this is actually more important than we're led to believe because it's an exhibition October 28th. But I think it's nice now that Penny and the staff understand, you know, before we're getting together like this island of misfit toys. We're getting together all these different pieces from around the country. We need to play some real competition. Right. Like Christian Brothers and Lemoyne Owen, uh, no offense, love their programs, love that they're in the city of Memphis, support them as well. But they don't – that don't, won't do it. You know what I mean? You need not, to have okay. some – you need to have somebody else, like a really good look, like a top 25 team, an NCAA cal- uh, tournament caliber team yeah. before you actually get to season. And I know how we are in Memphis when it comes to this basketball program. There will be overreaction, win or lose, to that in, in that Alabama exhibition. But I want to warn people against that before we even come close to that game. Who gives a damn? It's right. an exhibition. I don't want to see them get their ass kicked, but even in that case, like how many times have we seen Division One teams in an exhibition lose to a D2 school and be fine? Yeah. How many times have we seen Michigan State lose to a crappy out-of-conference team? They're still fine by the time they get to the tournament. Right. I, win or lose, I don't really think that's going to reflect exactly what this team's going to be like heading into the season. I we agree. Get takeaways. But this this needs to be on the back burner, I think, for a lot of people. When in reality, because it might be you know streamed, because you can buy tickets to it, it's going to be part of like a, a fundraising event. I think people will overreact to it, and I'm just trying to get out ahead of that because that nothing annoys me more. Yeah, I, I think you're exactly right, but I, I, I'm also in agreement with you that this is important. This is a good thing. This is a good development for the University of Memphis basketball program. And if you had, uh, you know, a team that was carried over and you had, you know, the majority of the same roster, maybe it wouldn't be as big of a deal and you would just say, okay, it kind of gets them back into a rhythm, but we know what to expect from them. But when you're doing these entirely swapped out (laughs) brand new rosters with guys who have never played an organized game together, like you said, starting off against Christian Brothers, Lemoyne Owen, it, it, it gives you a game look, like it gives you a game feel. But it doesn't really prepare you for what you could see down the stretch, you know, it, whether that's at a conference player, if you're playing some of the more decent teams in the like conference. Like the schedule game. they have, this out of conference schedule they have this year. Right, exactly. Like the out, it, more so for the out of conference than for the, the inter conference schedule. But it prepares you for that. And instead of having to adjust to those live bullets in a game that matters against your record, you get to do it against a really quality opponent in a game that has no merit on the rest of the season at all. And I, and I think that's very helpful for a team of entirely new players that have never played together to get to see that level of competition before games actually count. Yeah, and I, I just think generally this is something you're going to see going forward for a lot of programs, not just Memphis. I think Memphis is going to be out front trying to schedule these games, maybe multiple of these games yep. going into the future because Penny understands it. And he said it, you know, earlier this off season that he wants to do stuff like this, but with the transfer portal being as prevalent as it is, you have to do this. Yeah. I think it is an absolute necessity to make sure that you schedule somebody as an exhibition. That's going to give you a good look. And Alabama will certainly give this team a hellacious look. That's going to be one of the best teams in college basketball this year. 